Next step for me will be to create my route. So they're set up here. So I'm just gonna mark the backend here and I'm gonna create a folder and I'm gonna call models. Actually, I'm not gonna go route here. So I'm gonna do models first. So in my models folder, I'm gonna create my todos.js like so. And in here, this is where we'll be using the mongoose. So we'll create a schema. So the database won't just accept things. Um, but the first one we, oops. First one we'll do is I'll use the mong mongoose, spell it correctly. Oh, good Lord. Like so. And in here we'll have our require and oops, I want to do single quotations like so. And we'll be using mongoose. So basically what we have in our, I will just copy that one from in there. Next one is I'm going to create a constant with the name of to do schema like so. And I'm going to use a new mongoose schema, mongoose schema. Oh, that's a capital S, I think. Cap schema, yes. And in here, we I will have a object. Um, and the two things I want to add will be to do, which will be a string. And I'll also have an author, which will be a string as well. So again, I'm going to use this schema, schema here because I don't want the user, let's say we we're creating an ad, like a Visuvix, so we had one of those, or just a text editor. I don't want them to be able to upload or like put more information on the server that I'm allowing. So kind of making restrictions. Like you can only add these two different um, key values here, which is to do and whatever I'm putting in here and author, whatever. So I can add one called price or whatever, uh, as you would be normally be able to with a NoSQL server where you can just pop things up. So we attach the mongoose to control what the user or the application uh, can send to the database. So it has to be equal to this or it will be just like, no, you can't go there. That's what we're using this for. Last thing, we're going to do an export here, exports. Uh, and we're exporting mongoose dot model model model. And what I'm exporting is to do and the schema I'm going to be using here. So this one up here. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm using this keyboard here. That's this is all for me in the to do's my mongoose. Again, you can have multiple things in here if you want to constants or another way could be you could just create multiple models. That's kind of up to you if you have more than one thing. So right now we only have to do. So if you have one for users, projects, uh, blah, 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 whatever you want, right? Uh, you, or you can add them in here and then use the model export for the different things you want to export. It's really up to you how you want to work with it. It's, do you want it more collected in one file or uh, more component based um, in that concern? Cool. This is all we need for the models for this one.